Hey guys and welcome back. Today I will be reviewing the Kuratake Kura Color Markers. So here we have some that were sent to us by the company themselves. Now I've worked with this company before, I've done some live demonstrations for them across the UK and Europe and a really nice company and I actually really like their products a lot. So let's see what we've got. Firstly we have this Mangaka Flexi Pen which I absolutely love using and we'll get to that very shortly. Oh and I was also sent a letter from the company itself alongside a picture that was drawn. Um, this is of me and it's by someone called Lucy who works at Kuratake. So thank you very much Lucy, I really love this picture so much. And we'll just put this letter aside for now. So these are the pens that we are mostly reviewing today and these are the Kuratake Kurakala markers. And we have sent a good selection of purples, blues, greens, browns and beiges. So let's just get these open. These are an alcohol based marker so they can be compared to Copic pens or even the Winsor & Newton pens, the Pro markers, which I've used in previous videos before. Now let me just quickly talk about the Mangaka Flexi pen and let me show you why I like it so much. This pen is extremely fluid and very flexible so you can move in almost every direction and it won't have any kind of pull against it. You can also get great thick or thin lines depending on how much pressure you put on the pen. Also the ink is really nice quality as well. And I love the look of the pen, black and gold. Yeah, a really great pen. So let's move on to the Kura Color markers. Now the one negative thing I will say about this is it doesn't look amazing, it looks actually quite cheap. Um, but that's about it. On this end is the fine tip and on the other end is my favourite which is the brush tip. Now I really like using this pen, it's very similar to the Mangaka Flexi in terms of it's very flexible and you can create a good amount of depth depending on pressure. Now these inks are really nice, they have a very thick consistent colour up until pretty much the point where they're, they're dying out. It's always usually best to store your alcohol markers um, horizontally just because if you have them one way up the ink will flow to just that end. So what we'll do next is we'll go through each one of these colours and we'll see how consistent the colour comes out and also how it compares to the top of the pens as well. Don't worry, I'll speed this part up for you. So as you can see, colours are pretty consistent with the ends. They're pretty much all like that, except I have had a few different colours in the spectrum that are a little bit off, but generally they are pretty much the same. What we'll do next is we'll try blending two of the colours together just to see if they blend very well as well, which is another important factor when you're looking for a good alcohol marker. I will note that there is a slight difference between the ink of this and the popular Copic marker, which is that this isn't as heavy as the Copic marker ink. Let's have a close up look at this. Yep, it seems to blend pretty well. Oh, another thing is that this picture on the left was made using the colours that were sent to me. So if you want to try these colours out for yourself, I'll list them down below in the description. As an end note, I really do like these colours a lot. They are a one use only so once they're done you pretty much throw them away and buy new ones. But now let's go on to our second half, the demonstration, to show you these pens in action. Enjoy! Enjoy! 